Earthquake. An earthquake is the sudden shaking of the ground caused by movements of tectonic plates beneath the Earth's surface. These plates can collide or pull apart past each other, releasing tremendous amounts of energy. Earthquakes can be minor, barely noticeable, or very powerful, causing serious damage to buildings, roads, and bridges. In addition to structural damage, strong earthquakes can trigger landslides, tsunamis, or even fires. The largest earthquake ever recorded occurred in Chile in 1960, measuring 9.5 on the Richter scale. And it generated tsunamis that affected countries as far away as Japan and the Philippines. Other earthquake-prone regions include Japan, Indonesia, Mexico, and Turkey, where the frequency and intensity of earthquakes are particularly high. Scientists use the Richter scale to measure the strength of earthquakes, and studying them helps improve urban planning and disaster prevention, ultimately protecting human lives. Volcanic eruption. A volcanic eruption occurs when lava, gases, and ash are expelled from the Earth's interior to the surface. Volcanoes mainly form in areas where tectonic plates collide or move apart, and pressure from molten magma builds up until it bursts out. Eruptions can be mild, with lava flows that destroy only small areas, or catastrophic, sending ash and lava high into the sky and causing damage to towns and villages. Volcanic eruptions can also affect the climate, sometimes lowering temperatures as the ash blocks sunlight from reaching the Earth. Tsunami. A tsunami is a series of massive waves that form when the sea is suddenly displaced, usually due to earthquakes or underwater volcanic eruptions. These waves can travel at tremendous speeds, often exceeding 800 kilometers per hour. And when they reach shallow waters, they grow in height, causing severe flooding along coastlines. The impact can be catastrophic, sweeping away homes and infrastructure, and often resulting in the loss of human lives. Some regions are more vulnerable, such as Indonesia and the Western Pacific, due to high seismic activity. One of the deadliest tsunamis occurred in the Indian Ocean in 2004, claiming over 200,000 lives across 14 countries. Tsunamis can also cause significant economic damage and disrupt local ecosystems, destroying land and coastal habitats. Wildfire. A wildfire is an uncontrolled fire that burns forests, shrubs, or grasslands. It usually starts from natural causes, such as lightning, but very often is caused by human activities, including negligence or intentional actions. Wildfires can spread very quickly, especially during droughts and strong winds, destroying homes, infrastructure, and large areas of land within hours. Countries like the United States, Australia, and Brazil are more vulnerable to large wildfires due to vast forested areas and extreme climatic conditions. For example, California's wildfires each year cause massive damage and force thousands of people to evacuate their homes. The consequences extend beyond the destruction of nature and property, also affecting air quality and human health, as the smoke contains toxic substances. Landslide. A landslide occurs when large amounts of rock, soil, or mud suddenly move down slopes or mountains. It is usually triggered by heavy rainfall, earthquakes, or soil erosion, but human activities such as deforestation or road construction on steep terrain often play a role as well. In some cases, landslides can even sweep away entire villages. Regions like Nepal, India, and Chile are frequently affected by landslides due to mountainous terrain and intense rainfall. One of the most destructive incidents occurred in Bangladesh in 2007 when a hillside landslide caused dozens of deaths and extensive property damage. Beyond human casualties, landslides can block rivers, leading to floods and altering the landscape. Tornado. A tornado is a spiraling column of air that rotates at extremely high speeds, extending from the sky down to the ground. Winds in a tornado can exceed 300 kilometers per hour, capable of lifting vehicles, destroying homes, and uprooting trees and power lines. They typically form in areas with high heat and humidity when warm and cold air masses collide. Regions in Central and Southeastern America, known as Tornado Alley in the U.S., are more frequently affected by these phenomena. One of the strongest recorded tornadoes occurred in Oklahoma in 1999, with winds reaching 486 kilometers per hour. Tornadoes caused not only immediate damage, but also power outages, destroyed crops, and significant economic problems in the affected areas. Flash flood. A flash flood 
is a rapid rise of water in rivers, streams, or urban areas, usually following intense rainfall over a short period of time. The water moves with great speed and force, sweeping away vehicles, bridges, and in some cases even buildings. Flash floods can also be triggered by the failure of dams or reservoirs, as well as sudden landslides that block rivers. In urban areas, inadequate drainage systems increase the risk of flash floods. The impacts can be devastating for people while the rushing water can carry debris and mud, altering the landscape within minutes. Heat wave. A heat wave is a prolonged period of extreme heat that can last for days or weeks. During a heat wave, temperatures remain well above the normal range for the area, causing dehydration, heat stroke, and difficulties in daily life. Extreme heat also affects agriculture and energy production. As the demand for cooling rises dramatically, an example of an extreme heat wave occurred in California in 2020, when temperatures exceeded 49 degrees Celsius, leading to widespread wildfires and power outages. Heat waves do not only affect hot climates, even cooler regions such as Northern Europe can experience rare but dangerous periods of high temperatures that impact public health and ecosystems. Cold wave. A cold wave is a prolonged period of extreme low temperatures that can last for days or weeks. Such events cause frost on roads and farmland, make travel difficult, and increase the risk of hypothermia for both people and animals. Pressure on heating and energy networks rises significantly, while road conditions can become dangerous due to ice. An example of an extreme cold period occurred in the United States in 2021, when temperatures dropped below minus 30 degrees Celsius, causing power outages and problems in cities like Texas. At the same time, regions of Siberia experience very low temperatures every winter, with records reaching as low as minus 60 degrees Celsius, affecting daily life and local wildlife. Hurricane. A hurricane is a powerful tropical phenomenon that forms over warm ocean waters and is characterized by very strong winds and heavy rainfall. Hurricanes can cover vast areas, causing damage to buildings, roads, and infrastructure, as well as flooding in coastal zones. The waves accompanying a hurricane can reach several meters in height, sweeping away vehicles and destroying coastlines. Certain regions, such as the coasts of Mexico and the United States, are more frequently affected due to their geographic location in the Atlantic. One of the most destructive hurricanes in history was Hurricane Katrina in 2005, which caused massive damage in New Orleans and led to thousands of evacuations. Hurricanes impact not only human life, but also the environment, as heavy rainfall and strong winds can alter coastal landscapes and cause erosion. Hailstorm. A hailstorm is a weather phenomenon in which spherical pieces of ice, known as hail, fall from the sky. Hail forms within strong thunderstorms when water droplets freeze and circulate within clouds, growing larger before falling to the ground. Hailstorms can cause serious damage to crops, vehicles, and roofs. And in rare cases, they can injure people and animals. Regions such as the central and southern United States and certain parts of India are more frequently affected by intense hailstorms due to the frequent occurrence of thunderstorms. Significant incidents have occurred in California and Texas, where hailstones have reached several centimeters in diameter, causing substantial economic damage to farmland and private property. Blizzard. A blizzard is an extreme winter phenomenon characterized by heavy snowfall and very strong winds, which significantly reduce visibility. Blizzards can paralyze transportation, block roads, and cause disruptions to supply and energy systems, while prolonged exposure to such conditions increases the risk of hypothermia and frostbite. Regions in North America, such as Minnesota and South Carolina, as well as parts of Scandinavia, are frequently affected by blizzards during the winter months. Avalanche. An avalanche is a rapid fall of large amounts of snow down mountain slopes or hilly areas. It occurs when the snow layer on an inclined surface becomes unstable, usually due to heavy snowfall, temperature changes, or human activities such as skiing or mountaineering. Avalanches move at very high speeds and can cover entire slopes in seconds, sweeping away anything in their path. The Alps, the Himalayas, and North America are regions where avalanches occur most frequently. A notable incident happened in Pakistan in 2015, when a large avalanche in a mountainous area caused deaths and trapped mountaineers. Beyond the immediate threat to life, 
avalanches can destroy infrastructure, block roads, and obstruct rivers, creating further problems in the area. Drought. A drought is a prolonged period of low or no rainfall, which leads to a reduction of water resources in areas such as rivers, lakes, and underground aquifers. The effects of drought are serious for agriculture, reducing food production. And they also impact people, animals, and the environment in general. Drought can cause water shortages for drinking and irrigation, increase the risk of wildfires, and lead to soil erosion. Regions such as Africa, Australia, and southwestern America are often prone to droughts due to climatic conditions and limited rainfall. A severe drought occurred in California from 2011 to 2017, where the prolonged lack of rain affected agriculture, led to water usage restrictions, and increased the risk of wildfires. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you very soon in the next video.